at an amusement park in Metro Manila called Star City in Pasay, there is a particular attraction that uses panoramic view. It's called the Digital Surround Theater, where there are screens on four sides of a cube or rectangular prism room. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. To be able to create that panoramic video, we will first maximize the screen so that we can detect the boundaries of the video that we intend to show. Next, we will trim the top and bottom parts of a vertical video so that it will become horizontal where the width is greater than the height we create a three-dimensional background by inserting the inside view of a cube or rectangular prism We make sure that the left and right sides are maximized. We create a central screen by slicing the video into three parts and only leaving the middle portion and then we decrease the height dimension of a video as you can see here we are using the vertical edges as boundaries for creating the central screen. And then we also adjust the top and bottom part. We create the left screen by adjusting the top right and bottom right after slicing the video into three parts and only leaving the left side, the first part of three vertical sections. Right now, we are adjusting the bottom right position so that the video will be warped. This time, we are now adjusting the top right position so that the video will become a trapezoid in the same manner we apply the same principle on the right screen instead of adjusting the right 
side dimensions, I mean its positions, we adjust the left ones after trimming the video into three sections, slicing it into three, and leaving only the right side among the three thirds. As you can see here, the top left position is being adjusted along the Y axis. Next, we will adjust the bottom left position so that we create another trapezoidal video. Once we have created a panoramic video containing three sections, we will remove the background lines that feature the edges of a cube or rectangular prism. So that there will be no unnecessary voices such as screams on an amusement ride, we will replace the original audio with an instrumental version by removing the vocals. Let us now preview the panoramic show. Isn't that amazing how panoramic videos can be created in Final Cut Pro?